Hi, this is Will from Legacy of the Rails magazine, and this is a major layout update. Okay, the addition now has wood and track. The track and screw down and the track. Okay. We need two more pieces, but that's okay. We got a almost loop. Okay, so first off here, you'll see that we've moved the track a little bit. Um, and then here, that's where the old main line went. <laughs> Make it a hiking trip. No, I'm just, uh, my, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be a hiking trail. <laughs> That'd look random to have just, just like two foot section of trail and, you know, start and stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so here's the track. Uh, as you can see, it comes here. It'll connect like so. Now oh, there's a switch here uh, for like a cattle car or milk car or chicken car because the barn's going to be here. Uh, then it comes along here. By the way, these are 048 curves. Much better than the 031 <laughs> that I used to have. Uh, so it comes along here. Here's where the station might go might not uh, then it'll come back up here uh, it took several hours to do this even though I had already laid out the curves but first I had to use a screwdriver and an exacto knife to pry up the track here because it was buried in a little bit of sculpta mold all of it from here down to the station so where I ripped it all up. So um, then here, I did a lot of screwdriver work because for some reason my knife was being stupid and the blade wouldn't come out. But of the pocket D. But so here there used to be a curve that diverged off to here. Um, and uh, here's one of the pieces. And uh, so. I had to get a screwdriver, and uh, I don't use chisels anymore because I got that scar on my thumb, which you probably can't see. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I got that scar on my thumb from a chisel, and um, so anyway, uh, I was using a screwdriver. No hammer, just screwdriver, you know, and I had to break up a bunch of sculpt mold on both sides. Uh, to get this portion right. in. Um, so yeah. It's we just had an afternoon storm. I forgot to close the window, but it's fine. No water got in. Goodness. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, so this took a while. You know, with the screwdriver, here's all the pieces I pulled up. And I also did a little bit of work right here. Um, so, yeah. That's about it. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment. Oh, forgot something. Hang on, let me get it. This up at the hobby store yesterday. So, you can find it. So, uh, there it is. Alright, whatever. Oh, found it. Uh, just to show the fan that. It is a scale scenic. Here's the package. Um, which is the vision of Circuitron, apparently. Um, <laughs> Brass Micro Mesh, product number 652-3501. Six bucks. It's only one sheet. Uh, you can't really tell, but um, I might make a... Um, uh, it's like in front of the camera, and you can't even tell. Okay, it looks a little hazy, but... In front? Not in front. In front.
can barely see. It's only this big. Now you can see it better in front of the wood. Here. Um, see, it's not very big. It's just one sheet. Um, and I might make some, like, um, sheets of screens for some of my engines. I don't know. Maybe a short, short, short fence or a screen door. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, here's the back side of the package. You'd have to use several pieces to make even an end scale fence. Pretty. Here, there you can see it quite well. This is what it came in front of. This was in the package. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. But yeah, there it is. Show size, here's my head. Um, here's an HO scale GP40-2. Just for size comparison. So, yeah. Not the best six bucks I ever spent, but that's why I have all these companies so I can waste my money on useless stuff like this. It's fun. You should try it. No, just kidding. Um, yeah. Oh, um, my grandparents are gonna be paying me to do some stuff for them, just odds and ends, so once a week, every week, I'm gonna go over to their house and do stuff, and sounds like some good money, so, yeah. Alright, so, you know, get to buy some scenery and whatnot, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and add a friend. Bye. Okay, that sounded stupid. All right, bye.